Hello everybody. Welcome to this joint webinar by Xsense and Bob Biomechanics. Today we will be shortly introducing Xsense to the people who do not yet know us yet. And afterwards James Shippen from Bob Biomechanics. He will uh, introduce you to Bob Biomechanics and it Bob's teaching software. So uh, this will be the agenda for today. You as you can see, we do a short introduction like I told you just before. And afterwards, James will introduce you uh, to the Bob teaching and Bob overview. So afterwards, there will be a, a Q&A session in which this, uh, all questions can be answered. So please feel free to put your questions into the chat box. I will shortly introduce you about Xsense for the people who do not know us yet. Xsense is the leading innovator in 3D motion technology since 2000. Uh, today, we have a global presence all over the world with offices in the United States, in India, uh, in also in Canada. And we also have a worldwide network of uh, partners who resell our products as distributors. At our headquarters, at this beautiful picture, uh, you can see uh, this is the headquarters in Enschede and over there there work over 150 employees. Xsense basically owns defining patterns in the field of 3D motion tracking and we also have an ISO 9001 certification which is recertified recently in 2022. So about human motion measurement. For human motion measurement we use two different systems you can see over here. Here we have the MVN Awinda, which is our wireless system, and this one is the MVN Link, which is our wired system. Both systems have 17 IMUs, and they are spread all over the body over different segments. Our systems have been used worldwide in over 500 universities and institutes, and the main application for our systems in human motion measurement is ergonomics, sports science, rehabilitation, biomechanics and training and simulation. I will not go too much in depth about both of our systems, but I want to show you a quick comparison of the hardware. So the, the difference between the MVN Link and the MVN Winda mainly is in a few specifications. It is the output rate, which is 240 Hertz in the MVN Link and 60 Hertz in the MVN Winda. However, for the MVN Winda, we have multi uh, setups so you can either do a lower body setup or an upper body setup and that way you can enhance the output rate up to 100 hertz. Another difference between the two systems is that the MVN Link has the options to do on body recording which means you don't have to be near a computer whatsoever. Another uh, difference between the two systems is that the MVN Link has a wi uh, works on the Wi-Fi and has an extendable range of 50 to 150 meters where the MVN window works with on a radio frequency protocol which has a, a range of 20 to 50 meters depending on the environment. So, thank you very much for this uh, attention on Xsense and now I want to give the word to James Shippen from Bob Biomechanics. Hello, my name is James Shippen of Bob Biomechanics. I'd like to give you a presentation entitled Bob Teaching, an innovative tool for teaching biomechanics at undergraduate and master's level. I'll start by giving you a general overview of Bob. I'll then go into providing some applications of Bob that's been undertaken by ourselves and some of our users. I'll then focus in on our new variant of Bob entitled Bob Teaching. Bob is a musculoskeletal modeling package and it contains a model of the human skeleton. The skeleton is composed of 36 segments and 34 joints joining those individual segments in a manner that mathematically represents their anatomical counterparts. The skeleton can be scaled according to the individual subject's height and mass or the more advanced user can go in and modify individual segmental dimensions and inertia properties. Okay. Together with the model of the human skeleton, Bob also contains a model of the human locomotor muscles. By default, 
there are over 600 muscle units however Bob does contain a muscle editor which allows the user to add new muscles modify any characteristics of existing muscles for example the locations of the origin the wrapping points or the insertion points or the muscle characteristics in terms of strength uh, and the muscle editor can also be used to delete muscles Bob models the muscles as three element hills models and it also includes wrapping capabilities so mu muscles can wrap around skeletal components or indeed can wrap around lower muscles within the body. We'll now make Bob move. The simplest way to do this is just to link joint angles that occur at specific times and this is fine for textbook examples. Junction. However, listing joint angles as functions of time is very limited in terms of its applications. Bob is more often used in conjunction with a motion capture system. There's a particularly robust interface between Bob and the XN's equipment. Bob can read MBNX files containing motion data and ancillary data, for example forces and EMG signals. In this example, you can see that uh, the little orange boxes represent the sensors of an Edwina or a link system attached to the body. Bob can take its motion data from a variety of sources including optical tracking systems. Bob can also take ground reaction forces measured by force plates or indeed external forces acting on the body from any external force sensors. Bob can also display synchronized videos although this is normally used as a main memoir for the condition of the subject during the trial rather than as a formal part of the analysis procedure. Bob uses the skeletal mechanism, the mass distribution model, the muscle model, the external forces and the motion data to perform an inverse dynamics calculation. This analysis results in the derivation of the forces of constraint at the joints throughout the body together with the joint torques that are occurring throughout the body. Bob then goes on to calculate the muscle force distribution within the body. However, there are many more muscles in the body than there are torques to consider. Therefore, there is no unique solution to the muscle force distribution problem. The approach that Bob takes is to minimize a cost function that is representative of the fatigue resistance of the body. The cost function can be specified by the user but by default it minimizes the sum of the square of the muscle activations. This has been shown to be a reasonable representation of the approach that the body takes to maximize fatigue resistance. Bob also contains a number of ancillary modules to calculate, for example, trajectories of various locations on the body, distances between the body, energy expenditure, and power generated. Bob also contains a sophisticated library of graphics facilities. Following analysis, a wide spectrum of output is available from Bob. Perhaps the most simple is just to emphasize the motion of the subject. In this particular example, we're looking at a fast bowler. The trajectory of his right hand is shown by the yellow line, and the trajectory of his left hand is shown by the red line. We're also showing a number of instances throughout the movement that emphasize and enables the user to examine how the bowler has moved during his action. Bob can also show the range of motion of any joint in any direction. In this particular example, we're showing the range of motion in flexion and extension of the right shoulder joint. The area of the disc shown in red and green shows the angle through which the joint moves in that particular direction. 
also indicated is the time that the joint spends in each particular location within its arc. The redder the area is, the more time the joint spends at that particular angle, and the green shows where the joint is spending the least time in that particular articulation. Bob doesn't have to show the complete body. For example, in this application we're only interested in the right leg. Therefore, the user has specified that only the segments that are but the right hip, the right knee and the right ankle are shown, and only the muscles that cross those joints are shown. Obviously, any other subsection of the body can be displayed in a similar manner. Some users might not have access to force plates to measure the ground reaction forces, or the action might take place over a much larger area than is practical to use a force plate, for example a whole football pitch. In these circumstances Bob can calculate the ground reaction forces and this is indicated by the yellow arrows at his feet. The ground reaction force is calculated from the acceleration of the centre of mass of the body together with considerations of angular torque and angular acceleration to calculate the split of the ground reaction forces between the two feet for the duration of a two foot stance. As was mentioned earlier, Bob can calculate the torques that are occurring at each of the joints throughout the body. In this particular example, the subject is raising their right arm out to the side whilst there is a vertical load being applied to the hand. The torques at the right shoulder and in the lumbar region is indicated by the curly arrows. The arrows show the magnitude of the torque, they also show the direction of the torque by wrapping around the torque axis. In this particular example you can also see that Bob is calculating the ground reaction forces, the yellow vertical arrows coming up from the feet and as the arm moves away from the body you can see that the ground reaction force on the foot closest to the arm increases and the counter foot decreases. Bob can also calculate the muscle force distribution across the body. In this particular example the muscle activation, that is the instantaneous muscle force divided by its maximum isometric force, is shown as a colour coding. The red of the muscle the harder the muscle is working, the more blue the muscle, the less hard it is working. Also in this particular example we've attached the virtual camera to the pelvis so the pelvis appears not to be moving and all of the movements of the body and the surroundings is relative to the location and the orientation of the pelvis. As the forces in the muscles that surround the joint are now, have now been calculated it's possible to add up all the forces in the muscles that cross the joint together with the forces of constraint at the joint to calculate the joint contact force. In this particular example the joint contact force is shown in the lumbar region of the spine as a double headed arrow. The length of the arrow indicates the magnitude of the joint contact force and the direction of the double headed arrow indicates the direction of the joint contact force at that particular joint. What we've also done is plotted out the force that is occurring at a number of joints throughout the body against time. Obviously any variable can be plotted against time within Bob. In Bob any variable can be plotted against any other variable in a bivariant plot. In this example for a rower we're plotting the torque at the right elbow against the flexion extension and the right elbow to generate the phase plot shown. The little dot indicates the time at that particular instant. Bob can analyse any number of subjects simultaneously. In this example we've got eight people undertaking a static jump and we can use this to compare their heights or the torques at the knees or any other biometric variable that we wish to study and compare the technique of these various subjects against one another. 
Bob is developed and written within the MATLAB environment. MATLAB is a widely used analysis tool. This enables Bob to share data with MATLAB and it will become a very familiar environment for existing MATLAB users. Additionally, MATLAB users can write their own bespoke code and graphics functions to interact with Bob. Bob has been accredited by the MathWorks Connection program, but it should be noted that Bob users do not require a MATLAB license. I'll now go on to mention some of the application that Bob has been used for by ourselves within Bob Biomechanics and some of our users. Bob is widely used within the sporting environment, primarily for injury reduction and for performance improvements. Bob has been applied to tennis, rugby, football, golf, archery, weightlifting, to name a few. Bob has been used by a professional Irish dance company. In fact, some could even say the professional Irish dance company. As employers, they were very interested in looking after their employees and not exposing them to unnecessary musculoskeletal risk. A number of injuries were occurring, especially in the ankle region. They undertook a Bob analysis to calculate what the forces were occurring at the ankle and the results were large. It turned out there's about 14 times body weight was occurring at the ankle joint. What the professional company then did was to modify the chore choreography very slightly such that it wasn't obvious to the audience but it had the result of dramatically lowering the joint contact force at the ankle. Bob has been used widely for product development. This is an example of a German manufacturer of horticultural equipment. What they were interested in is increasing the endurance that a person can use their equipment. To do this they looked at a subject climbing a tree, which you can see there, and undertook motion analysis using XN's equipment as the subject ascended up into the tree. A Bob model was then used to calculate the torques in the joints and the muscle loadings, the muscle energy consumption, the muscle power consumption for various designs of horticultural equipment to, in an attempt to increase the fatigue resistance of the subject using their particular piece of equipment. Bob has been used by an American major manufacturer of automotive seats. The manufacturer was interested in easing the ingress and egress of the older person into the vehicle and into their seats. During the study, various subjects were equipped with the Edwina motion capture system. The results from the movement were then fed into a Bob musculoskeletal model and various metrics were calculated using Bob. A correlation study was then undertaken between the biometric measurements, the calculations, the comfort levels perceived by the subjects and various design variables and these variables were then optimised to ease ingress and egress. Bob has been used by various emergency services around the world. In this example we show some work that was done by the Spanish police to develop protocols in assisting their officers in detaining uh, people who do not want to be detained and to minimise the risk of injury to their officers. In the UK, Bob has been used by the fire service looking at reducing the spinal injury rates after a car crash. Uh, they were looking at the movement of the cervical and the lumbar spinal regions as the subjects were extricated from vehicles using a wide variety of techniques and identifying the technique that would place the least risk of further damage to the spine. Bob has been used by a Formula One team to study their pit stop strategy. During a pit stop, the Formula One car comes into the pit 
and all four tyres are removed in under two seconds. On each wheel there are three people. One person to remove the wheel nut, another person to remove the old tyre, another person to put a new tyre on and then the first person again tightens up the wheel nut. Saving a fraction of a second during a pit stop is worth literally millions to a Formula One team. The team used Bob to compare the actions of the various team members around the car to identify the best technique such that then the other team members could learn from the best technique. The team that used Bob turned out to be the fastest in the pit lane during the 2022 season. Bob Biomechanics is very pleased to be working with XNs to provide the Bob XNs bundle. This bundle contains hardware to undertake motion analysis and motion capture. It also contains all of the software that's required to undertake a biomechanical musculoskeletal analysis using Bob. Until now I've just been referring to Bob. However Bob comes in four variants. Bob Research, Bob Ergo, Bob EMG and Bob Teaching. The Bob I've been referring to so far is Bob Research. This is the core of the Bob system that contains all the data importing, all of the analysis and all of the data output this has so far been demonstrated. Bob Ergo is a variant of Bob which has been designed specifically to be used by ergonomic analysts. This variant includes tools including the coding of various ISO codes, NIOSH, lifting equations, Reba ruler, cumulative load analysis of Maris risk assessments. Bob Ergo can also undertake sensitivity analysis between these various ergonomic metrics and design variables. The Bob EMG variant has tools for undertaking EMG analysis within Bob and to synchronize EMG signals to the Bob animated skeleton. This particular example was kindly provided by DELSYS. Bob EMG can read DELSYS signals that are embedded within the MVNX file format. In this particular example, on the right hand side, we are showing the EMG signal from four separate muscles. We are also showing the RMS of those signals as a red line these signals are synchronized to the movement that's shown in the majority of the slide. Also on this slide the color coding of the muscles is different to every slide previous. On the previous slides the muscle coding indicated the muscle activity based on Bob's own internal calculations whereas in this video the color coding of the muscles indicates the RMS signal of the muscle based on the EMG signal. In this respect it is very easy to see which muscles are active during the activity on the animated skeleton. The Bob teaching variant is designed for teaching biomechanics at undergraduate and master's levels to students of life sciences, sports science, biomechanics, engineering, kinesiology, physiology and many other subjects. Bob Teaching contains all of the analysis and graphical capabilities of Bob Research but is different in that it can't import any new data. However, Bob Teaching does come preloaded with a large number of trials which illustrate many biomechanical principles. Most of these trials have been captured using XN's equipment. Bob Teaching was designed as a tool to enable students to investigate a large range of biomechanical principles. 
Bob Teaching has got a very short learning curve making it suitable for a single afternoon laboratory class or a series of classes which are classroom based. Bob Teaching is positioned at a price point where every student can have a full biomechanical model on their own PC or Mac. The Bob Teaching package also contains a student worksheet template this is a template which can be edited by the instructor to suit their own particular style and content. In the rest of this presentation, I'm going to go through the examples that are included within Bob Teaching. The vast majority of these examples have been collected using XN's equipment, so it also provides further examples of how Bob and XN's equipment can be used together. The complexity of the examples in Bob Teaching slowly increases, starting with the simplest, that of supporting a vertically downward pointing load in the hand of an outstretched arm. The students encouraged to compare their own hand calculations with Bob's calculations, so the student can calculate, for example, torques at the joints, ground reaction forces. But it must remember that Bob is a full three-dimensional biomechanical model that the student can investigate, rotate, view from any particular angle and so gain confidence in applying biomechanical principles. Moving on to a slightly more complicated trial, the subject here is still supporting the same vertically downward force on the end of the arm, outstretched arm but this time the arm is moving through abduction and adduction at the right shoulder. The change in the muscle force distribution can be seen together with the torque at the shoulder joint. It can be seen how the torque at the shoulder joint rotates with the joint because the force is moving. We can also see how it affects the ground reaction force at both of the feet. It must be stressed at this point that Bob Teaching contains no videos. This is all three-dimensional musculoskeletal models that the student can examine and interrogate. Bob contains an example of an inverse dynamics calculation. This is to ensure that the student understands the input and output from inverse dynamics. So here we've got a specified motion, i.e. the right hip flexion extension, at an increasing frequency. The output is the torque that's required at the hip to generate that movement. It can be seen that the torque has a minimum at approximately the natural frequency at which the leg swings. This is the first example in Bob teaching that contains actual motion capture data and has been kindly provided by Delsys. In this example we've got a person that's squatting repeatedly and we're plotting the EMG signals together with the angles at the hips, the knee and the ankle together with the torques at those particular joints as well. The muscles on this example are colour coded according to the EMG signals not the Bob calculations and what we've also done is added muscle labels to the muscles on the skeleton. This can be done for any muscle throughout the skeleton for any trial. This is another example of a trial that has been provided by Delsys and contains motion capture together with EMG signals. This was read into Bob using a single MVNX file that has the EMG signal embedded within it. Again, we are showing over towards the right hand side the EMG signals and the muscles on the subject as they move is colour coded according to the EMG signal. Increasing the speed from gait and the subject starts jogging. In this particular example we're indicating the range of motion of the hip, the knee and the ankle during the jogging motion by the coloured discs and the colouring within the segment between red and green gives an indication of how long the joint spends at that particular angle. 
Increasing the speed again and the subject breaks into a sprint or running. Here the muscles are colour coded in terms of their activity and the student can examine what the demands on the muscle activity are for these three speeds i.e. gait, jogging and running and see how the forces, the energy expenditure, the torques increase as the subject moves from one mode into a higher speed mode. Within Bob Teaching there's an example of a trial to study balance and instability. So there's a subject standing on a single foot and moving the other foot around to the various compass points. The positioning of the centre of mass in relation to the support can be seen and how far the centre of mass moving outside the region of support can be tolerated before instability occurs. Also in this video we've indicated the local coordinate systems around the body. Obviously local coordinate systems and their movement is a fundamental principle within biomechanical analysis and this is showing an example of those local coordinate systems. Obviously these local coordinate system triads can be turned on for any trial, it's just that we're illustrating it in this particular one. This trial shows an older person ascending and descending a flight of stairs. Bob teaching in this example can be used to study the loads that are occurring within the knees during this climbing and descending activity and can be compared to other activities for example walking and see what the stresses and the loads and the forces and the torques are put on the joints during stair climbing and compare those to for example gait or running. This is another example of an everyday task lifting a box, placing it on the shelf, taking it off the shelf and putting it back on the floor again. In this example the student can look actually inside the body to see what the loads occurring around the body are for example between the adjacent vertebral discs. It's often quite alarming how large these internal forces are and this raises the question why are these forces so large? Hopefully it gets the student thinking this is an example of a trial that involves ballistic movement. The trajectory of any segment or any location throughout the body can be plotted together with the trajectory of the centre of mass of the subject during the ballistic phase. The trajectory of the centre of mass should resemble closely a parabola whereas the trajectory of the segments around the body obviously will not. Still with ballet, but this particular example demonstrates the principle of changing moments of inertia, predominantly about a vertical axis, uh, conservation of angular momentum, and external torques affecting angular momentum and the changes of angular momentum. Throughout Bob teaching, we try to include trials and activities that students can relate to. So in this particular example we've got a subject undertaking some gardening, moving a heavy load in a wheelbarrow and studying the biome biomechanical implications of this activity on the body. The interaction between the subject and ancillary equipment can also be illustrated. In this particular example the subject is seated at an arm curl exercise piece of equipment and the joint contact force at the right elbow is illustrated by the red double headed arrow in terms of its magnitude and its direction. And with a different piece of exercise equipment, in this case leg extension exercise equipment, here we can see the torque that's required at the knee throughout the use of this machine indicated by the curly arrow at the knee together with the contact force between the shins and the pad. In this example baseball pitching is demonstrated. The trajectory of the pitcher's hand is shown by the 
red and yellow line. The colour of the line alternates between red and yellow at a fixed rate therefore the longer the segment the faster the hand is moving and so it can ask the question is the ball released at the fastest point we've also indicated the velocity of the hand with the velocity arrow the light blue arrow at the hand which is indicating the direction and the magnitude of the speed of the hand at any point throughout the action in this example we're showing somebody seated on a stationary exercise bike we are showing the torques that are being generated along the legs at the hip the knee and the ankle also within this trial we have the EMG signal for this subject on this particular bicycle this is a trial that we measured of somebody on a stationary rowing machine the forces at the feet and at the hands are indicated by the yellow arrows. The muscle activity throughout the body is colour coded from red being the most active to blue being the least active. We have also added labels for a number of muscles throughout the body. Another example of an activity that most people can relate to that of serving in tennis using this model uh, anybody can go in and examine a wide range of biometric variables and see how they compare to other activities for example simple gait or running see which requires the most energy and develops the largest torques and finally within Bob teaching there's an example of somebody shooting basketball hoops and in summary Bob contains a human musculoskeletal model a biomechanical analysis engine and a graphics environment. Bob Teaching empowers teachers and students to investigate a wide range of biomechanical principles. Bob Teaching contains 20 preloaded activities. If you're interested in any of the Bob variants and Bob Teaching, you can get a free sample by going to our website bob-biomechanics.com from where a trial can be downloaded. Thank you very much for your attention.